hi and welcome to today's video in which you've got obviously an overhead um, view and uh, it's of my makeup purchases from January through to March um, I don't really want to buy a lot of makeup but if there were some items that I really wanted or took my eye then I would pick them up so the first item here is by Bobby Brown um, and it came out last year, I think the latter half of last year. And it's a Sculpt and Glow palette in medium. And it's got a highlighter in afternoon glow, a blush in dessert, desert peach, and then um, a contour stroke blonde bronzer in medium. So the packaging is, it's like a rough cotton, I would say. Um, not quite hessian um, and it's embossed it's a raised gold embossed area this would get dirty very easily now these aren't readily available in the UK certainly not in this shade but you can get the lighter one and the darker one online I think QVC may have the darker one at the moment I picked this up at heavily discounted in fact it was half price because it had no box um, so I'm very pleased with this it's got a lovely mirror I haven't even taken the wrapping off the, the film off the mirror. But basically, these are the three items. Now, they're looking cooler toned than they are in real life. This is more orange toned than pink. Um, it's similar to the blush that's in my project pan, except these two are gel or gelay formulas. So they are baked gels, which means they're not the easiest to pick up. You need a firmer or a, um, a more bristly type of brush that isn't the softest on the skin, or just a soft one that's very dense, and then it will pick up it. But you don't need a lot. So, and the third item is a highlighter. Now, in certain angles, it looks very gold, and other times it looks a bit more like a rose gold. But this one, when I pick it up, it is actually, has tiny, tiny, colours of the rainbow in so basically you get blue you get yellow you get orange green um, uh, a violet so on close close inspection you can see all the tones which aren't going to come out I'm afraid in this light but in real life you can see all the different flecks um, it is very pretty uh, it's more of a topper I think that's what they, they say it is because it's a bit dark for, as a highlighter in its own right, but it can be used to add a bit more luminosity to the blusher. Now here's the blusher, and there it is. Now, it's difficult. I'll put a bit on my skin. It is matte, maybe slightly satin. It's not matte, 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 but there, it is fairly matte-ish. And there it is. I, it's a bit more corally than pink in real life and then finally I've got the bronzer and these are all fairly subtle because they are a gel formula there it is now it is sh showing a bit darker than it is on my skin it's more reddish I would say the bronzer but um, yes it's something that I've wanted since it came out and I was umming and ahhing, but I managed to, like I said, pick this up um, inexpensively because it had no box. So that's the first item. Um, not, I have tried it, but I won't be using this because I have items in my project pan that I want to focus on. The next item I picked up, um, and I'm not, oh, this was actually from Benefit's own website. And uh, because it came up on, the, on my phone. Um, and this was in, I think these were both in January, I think. And this is Lil Brow Love. So I think this may have been from the Christmas festive period. So basically, it's a retail value. It's supposed to be £45 or £47. And it was sold for £25. And I got it for £12.50, which is very good. And that's because it's shade 2 warm golden blonde and that is the only shade they had available one or two are best for me and um, anywhere between that range and i can go up to a 
three. So in this, I've not tried this one before. It is the 24 hour brow setter. Because I've never set my brows, but I've got an iconic one I'm using at the moment. Is this coloured? Is this coloured? No, it, this is clear. So the brow setter is clear. So it must be the same in all of the kits. Um, so this is a little, I think it's a half size. It's supposed to be very, very strong. Um, but it sets the, the brows very, very strong. So then I have a, I've had one of these before. And um, that goes through the brow. So it's looking quite golden, eh? But as I have a light golden blonde hair, I think that would go very, very well. And it will last some time. This should be the one that go through the quickest because this one is precisely my brow. So it's the one with a very tiny... See if I can get it... Um, yeah, very tiny tip. So I'm pleased... There it is. Yeah, it should be up there. So I'm pleased to have those, and for the price, I don't even think I paid postage and packaging. I think it was just uh, twelve fifty from Benefit. So, yeah, in January, obviously, it's just what's left for the Christmas stock. So I was very pleased about those two. And then the next item I bought in February was Lisa Eldridge Luxurious Lucent Lip Colour. Now I got this online because it's a discontinued item it's go lightly and it's in it's not the matte range but the more glossy type lipstick and this is a peach um i do like the packaging it's very heavy which i like and i think it's magnetic yeah it's a rare called a rare earth magnet and there it is and uh, this is the color so it's showing a bit darker than it is on in real life but it's a lovely corally peach a uh, bit orange leaning so it's something that I would really like I'm going to try a little bit on my hand yeah it's very similar in tone to the um, Benny, to the Bobbi Brown blush blusher so I do like those sorts of shades a peach one peachy coral so and I've wanted to try it Lisa Eldridge so I'm glad I got that I think I paid about nine pound for this which is very very good and it is um it is proper Lisa Eldridge the components very very heavy it'll be hard to um to, to dupe and then around and then I got so I've got one two three I've got five items all together the next one I got and that was in a sale was a Bobbi Brown intensive skin serum foundation spf 40 so i've got it's 30 mil and i've got it in the palest shade c which is for cool 004 alabaster now I th for years bobby brown and mac had very similar color shadings a bit like nars very very yellow leaning uh, no pink leaning now this one is a pink lean leaning serum foundation um, I'll see if I can get a bit, just a tiny bit out. I, I think you've got to shake it, which I'm doing now. And there it is. So I've not tried this at all. This is in a very heavy glass component. The lid is plastic. It's got a metal top, but it is nice, a nice packaging. Very, very sleek. So let me see what this is like. Yes, it's very, very pale. But what I will say, on my skin, it is still yellow. That's what I would describe it as a yellow toned. Um, there it is on my skin. It looking pinkier because this camera is cooling everything down. But for me, I think it's slightly yellow toned. Not too bad. I can get away with that. And I do like a glowy foundation. That's what this is. Then, so I paid sixteen ninety nine for that. But it's I think I got this from. Either Notino or All Beauty, but it's it's sold out within a week or two of me getting it, and I didn't try it at the time. So this is still available, the Bobby Brown, at around forty eight, some to fifty pounds, something like that. So it is quite expensive. So I'm glad I got that cheap. They only had the lightest and the darkest shades, 
and I wonder if it is old stock. I mean, it's not a very old foundation, but I think it may be older stock. Then in March, I picked up um, this. It's Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. So this is in shade for number 21, which I've had before. In I had a Misha um, sponge applicator foundation in a compact and it was really nice so they, they used to have 21 and 23 i think they've now got a 13 and a 17 as well but i do like this 21 i bought it and i, I thought well i'll see if it's going to be too dark but it's fine it's absolutely lovely and this is sp 42 pa plus 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 so this is classed as a bb cream now i only paid about six pound on this now this may be the notino item i'm not too sure and what happened is I thought I was buying the full size one, but when I got it, I realized it was tiny. So it was 20 mil and the full size, I think is 50, uh, but it's worth trying out. And if I do like it, I will buy a full size of this. Now what I do like about these Korean brands, which brought out this technology for the BB creams. Um, and I think Misha, I think they make, um, it cosmetic CC cream so I think it's a very similar formula obviously the tones are different uh, this one is does it tell you light beige so this is quite greyish in tone so I'm really pleased about that so it suits my skin very well it melts perfectly but it does look quite an unusual colour and it's warming a bit up a bit in tone on my skin but this is not reflected on the camera but it is absolutely lovely on my skin. It's a true beige, which is my preferred colour. Uh, a pale beige. So I shall give that a try. And if I like that, I'll buy a full one. So I think when I bought this, I don't normally include nail stuff. Because that, you know. Um, so I'm going to count these as the five products. Not that I'm saying there has to be five, but there's five that I've got in three months, which isn't too bad. I think when I bought that... Um, they were selling off on one of the sites it was either All Beauty or Natino I think it was Natino was selling off um, these nail polishes so I got a Barry M because I do like the Barry M range Jelly Shine and it's in Forest Black but it is a black so I had another black which I, dis um, I decluttered in my last declutter video, video or the one before I think it was the last one and I'm going to use this instead and see if it sticks to the nails better because I have a tendency to, for everything to flake off and then I've got um, a nails ink caught in the nude so it's nude tones in South Beach um, the only thing with nails ink is that it chips really really easily on my, on my nails but when it's a very nude colour it doesn't show that much because the contrast with my nail beds isn't that great. Sorry, I'm shaking you there. So, yeah, this is it. Um, it's a palish beige. So, um, and I think I got this for about three or four pound on the website. I'm just going to move it away. It's got, I think it may be because the lid's faulty. That's what I'm thinking. The outer cap. But I managed to get it on. So, it just says vegan long wear. I wouldn't say it's long wear. But it's infused with AHAs. I'm not sure I want that particularly, but anyway, um, I'm uh, I do like this colour, this shade or tone, so I'm glad to give that on. So that's all the items that I've got. So yeah, it's just um, mainly these items, um, and I do like I said, I, I've wanted to try this Bobbi Brown one. I do like Bobbi Brown. Obviously, I've got the, the foundation, which seems that it will work out quite well. It has oxidised slightly, and it is quite yellow, but I, I think it can make it work. It's not. It's a bit yellow. It's not totally yellow. Um, and then the Misha one, I do like this colour. I've had it. I've had it in a different container before. I love the Benefit brows. My favourite products are Benefit. Uh, Lisa Aldridge, very nice. And then these two. So um, yeah, I'm going to do another video on my perfumes that I've picked up um, for this last three months. Uh, and we'll see. I'm not, I'm not it really interested in picking up any more. Um, but you never know what releases come up or what gaps I might find in my collection. So anyway, that's everything. Um, can I say thank you very much for watching, as I do appreciate that your time is valuable. Hopefully I shall see you soon in another video. Otherwise, please take care of yourselves and bye for now.